All right, so again, Shalom and Asalam Ta. Lejifti, Rashifdeya, Rastafari Renaissance.com, also Rastafari Foundation.com, and also Blog Talk Radio.com, Discipleship Radio, or LOJ Society. Indeed, it's been uh, quite a while since we've uh, been able to come, you know, again to the microphone and just speak on certain things, but, you know, it all hasn't been uh, just. Um, you know, child's play, just to say the least, or for lack of a better term. And the reason, of course, why we, you know, have gone on, you know, many of these uh, short or longer, which, of course, this one was a longer a hiatus, especially from uh, just posting videos here, you know, as we see that the uh, the followers or the, those who tend to tune into, you know, because I really don't like to use the word followers in that sense, uh, the ones that love to tune in here and just check things out from time to time are uh, increasing uh, slowly but surely, and it, it really could be, you know, um, growing at a lot more rapid pace if I was more so uh, uh, on a constant uh, uh, basis for posting, you know, a lot of uh, my thoughts, uh, a lot of the um, research that I tend to come across or I do from my own time you know, in uh, certain aspects, certain subjects, topical matters, this, that, and the third. But uh, even so, just um, coming again uh, here for this particular vid, you know, as we mentioned, we have uh, quite a few uh, vids uh, here to post, so you'll see a lot more activity here, at least for the time being, and that's uh, mainly because we uh, are coming off of our uh, quote-unquote hiatus, or, you know, just a little uh, leave of absence had been you know, acquiring a bit more knowledge, um, you know, in certain particular fields. You know, we have our own um, particular occupation that we uh, tend to do on a day-to-day -day basis in a specific industry, you know, which, of course, is uh, disclosed within our own fellowship, you know, not so much in the public eye uh, or anything like that. But we, um, you know, make uh, a great effort to not only study, but actively engage in a lot of other uh, industries or um, economic activity on that sense. So, and uh, as we mentioned, just coming to this particular uh, time of season, this time of year, after the uh, Ethiopian Addis Ahmed, in Kutatash, or the Ethiopic New Year, the Ethiopian New Year, and also the Hebraic New Year in the Rosh Hashanah, or the uh, Yom Teruah, and of course coming through our High Holy Season, reaching our third pilgrimage feast in uh, the uh, Yesost uh, Amet Be'al, or the Shalosh Regalim, uh, with Sukkot, Yedas Be'al, we had um, of course sought to bring about a lot more activity in certain avenues for ones to start to join into. Now, of course, just um, prefacing this, you know, we've uh, lost many ones from time to time. And even so, you know, I think of uh, Sister Mariama, who, of course, um, hosts our uh, Woman's Wednesday, the WMW there on Discipleship Radio on the DSR, on blogtalkradio.com. And, you know, if ones and ones within our own fellowship had received that notification from, you know, Amim Harachin, uh, Iadino Steferi, once, of course, had, you know, received the uh, headliner there or the um, description there in the subject line of take heed to how you hear. So if you receive that notification among the fellowship, you know, again, be sure to check that one out again because this is not... Uh, the first time that this has happened, you know, we've had certain things like this come up from time to time. And, of course, uh, the brothers there on the dashboard and, you know, other ones and ones as well within, you know, our own family, within our own, you know, collective group. You know, we have yet to really have an in-depth conversation, a reasonment about that. But, you know, in due time, and, you know, we really uh, don't have, you know, the uh, patience or you know, the time at this moment to, you know, go tit for tat for certain things that are, you know, seemingly minuscule 
and really could have been handled, you know, quite some time ago. So we, you know, again, uh, uh, send out, you know, not our condolences, but, you know, uh, uh, in a sense, our apologies if certain things have been taken in a certain way from ones that were inside the community, you know, not so much outside. But, you know, we, again, I mean, the the, uh, the mem here, he really gave a great, you know, analogy on that point. Take heed to how you hear. You know, certain ones uh, are very sensitive to criticism at that particular moment when we're in such a time when we're really trying to show progression, we're really trying to bring out the best, you know, in each one of us within our own uh, community. You know, we have, the, you know, the mockers, scorners, and scoffers, and, you know, those who, you know, just seek to throw certain things at us, you know, whether they be stereotypical or, you know, other, you know, just uh, slanderous, you know, themes or you know, what have you, you know, name calling, uh, all of that, that, that just comes with the territory. We, you know, after a while, we really tend to, you know, even so expect that <laughs> in a sense, but, um, you know, just moving forward and uh, keeping those things, uh, you know, on the outset, we, of course, um, have a presentation here that uh, really won't be uh, so much uh, uh, spread out, as we mentioned before, amongst you know, uh, the public forums, you know, this will be more of an in-house thing. Uh, I really just um, only will be posting it here, you know, for ones uh, to be alerted to it if they haven't um, received, especially our first day um, newsletters that we tend to send out. We've been sending those out ever since the Adi Summit or the Ethiopian New Year. And if you haven't, again, as I mentioned on Discipleship Radio from the URZ, if you haven't been plugged into that as of yet, the links, of course, to my email will be in the description box here. So be sure, especially if you're a part of Rastafari Groundation. If you're a part of Rastafari Groundation, as a matter of fact, be sure to send me a link and in the subject line, just put first day newsletter and also attach the link to your profile at Rastafari Groundation because this won't be spread out. These opportunities that I've um, sought to bring forward to certain ones and uh, some of the um, proposals which will be laid out in depth, step by step, on how ones can follow these themes and you know get into um, you know certain groups and uh, open up certain avenues from which. You know, we, of course, had took our hiatus, <laughs> quote unquote, from, you know, just to, you know, open up, you know, these lines of communication and also these uh, particular spaces where which ones can kind of plug and play, as they say, you know, out here in the world. You know, this won't be available to ones outside, you know, of our particular community. We've had certain ones that have been with us, been with us for at least, you know, I can say off the top of my head, probably at least five to ten you know, of ones within our fellowship who, you know, really have been, you know, pretty much doing volunteer work on a certain sense. You know, some a little la uh, in the latter sense, you know, just the last couple of years or the last six months to a year. But we have certain ones that have been with us for at least, you know, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years, you know, and receiving, you know, no... Uh, due recognition or even so uh, qualified payment for that. So we are seeking to open up uh, certain things that will not only show the appreciation for what certain ones have done and have given freely of themselves, but also to uplift themselves out of their situation, you know, no matter what it might be, even if their situation is uh, pretty decent, you know, decent to, you know, upstanding at this point. You know, and you never can say that you wouldn't want to do better in life, especially uh, on an economic sense. So we're uh, sending this out just, um, you know, again, just a shout out to ones within our own fellowship and uh, other ones, of course, still to come. But uh, be sure, of course, to link I and I in the description box. And, of course, if you're a part of Rastafari Groundation, we'll get a lot more in depth into this next proposal, which we'll be bringing out. 
Uh, and of course, uh, as you know, we have you know certain things on our plate. We have the mixtape project, of course. Uh, also, big shout out to Anna brother Tadi Wadada, the second hula tenya, uh, there in Chicago, uh, with the Dove Music family. You know, we're gonna have another update on that. Uh, spoken with the brother um, many a times now, and uh, just getting uh, acquainted again. You know, as uh, I personally have admired, you know, the brother from afar, another DJ. Uh, a uh, selector, we would say, uh, works uh, on the radio station there at WHPK 88.5 in Chicago, uh, along with the Dove Music Crew, a um, you know blessed and talented selected group of individuals uh, there in the uh, music industry. You know, all independent works. You know, um, having the likes of doing interviews with certain ones. Of course, uh, they're from Jamaica, even here in the States and uh, other parts of the world, you know, interviewing the likes of Chronix, Protégé, you know, so on and so forth, you know, so many other big names. And, uh, you know, we're just uh, thankful that really indeed a second, second generation, second to third generation Rastafari from Jamaica and uh, Belize, uh, just uh, a good brother who really had, um, you know, stayed strong and held firm you know, within his way and still making a way for himself along with other ones of his own constituency. You know, it's, uh, you know, that's a big up and a, a big salute, you know, to that brother. I can't um, tell him enough how much I admire his works uh, from such afar. But uh, we're seeking to uh, get uh, more acquainted and also uh, uh, work on a few more collaborative works, a lot of things uh, we're doing behind the scenes with that brother and, and along with uh, other ones as well. But, you know, we just wanted to shout that brother one out. So ones and ones, be sure to check out our brother Selector T there on WHPK 88.5 every Friday from 1 to 3 Central Standard Time. Be sure to check out Selector T and make sure you tell him Rashif Deya Lidjefti, the LOJ Society, Rastafari Renaissance sent you. And be sure just to, um, you know, support that brother, support that brother and uh, all of the rest of the Dove Music crew and their works. You know, we're looking to, you know, get into a lot more collaborative works with those ones. So just sending that shout out. Ones may remember the brother from Word Sound Power Manifest here on YouTube. If you can um, also go and subscribe to his channel, you can check out a lot of his earlier works. You know, again, uh, speaking in those same um parallel lines in which we have, especially at the LOJ family, the DSR family, the RTG family, uh, you know, again, you know, in that uh, original Ethiopian Hebrew fashion, that original Rastafari fashion, that original Judeo-Christian fashion, keeping things, you know, uh, on a straight and narrow in that sense, and, uh, you know, staying true, you know, to the roots, to the roots in that in that particular manner, but uh, so much more still to come, you know, just as we're kind of rambling off here uh, on so many of the works that we still have to come, and that's just a snippet of what, you know, we've been working on while on hiatus here, but, um, you know, just thankful again, you know, just to uh, see another Ethiopian Hebrew year, to see another Ethiopian year, to see another Hebrew year, to see another high holy season, to go into study once again, and, uh, you know, again, see so many other ones uh, coming in and receiving the message that we've sent out, you know, even though we know we've held, you know, no one hostage. We've, you know, forced no ones to do certain things. And, um, you know, again, I just uh, I'm thankful that we've done things the way that we've done them, even though it's had its struggles and it's also had its triumphs. We're uh, thankful because there's been a lesson in each and every step. But um, again, uh, as we mentioned, we have this um, these op economic opportunities to present to ones, you know, and uh, of course, if, you know, if you feel amongst uh, the fellowship, if you feel that these things are not for you and you're intending to, you know, uh, sit and wait on something more uh, in your lane, as they say, or, you know, more so of a particular interest to you that really drives you, you know, we'll, uh, of course, uh, continue to put those things out. And that'll be, you know, laid out, of course, with our first day newsletter, which we'll be sending out on a constant basis and uh, constantly developing that into a little more formal uh, event, you know, where I'm seeking also to get uh, into our publishing works also. Again, uh, otherwise, uh, 
Uh, on that note, a big shout out to uh, Tekla, our brother Tekla, of course, who also is seeking to work with us uh, digitally in the publishing works. He has um, quite a few, quite a few um, literary um, works and editions that he's seeking to put out, and uh, we'll get uh, more into that also as we move forward. But you know, here for this particular vid, we uh, sought to bring out this uh, economic opportunity for certain ones. And uh, probably the only brother who has been working in this fashion for such a time and been educating himself, you know, all on his own. And, you know, one that has shown a great propensity for learning things in this matter. And we've spoken so many times before and we even so <laughs> probably are working in our own uh, rights on so many things that uh, a given time, you know, we hardly have that time to even get together to reason with each other. But uh, my brother Toby, uh, Toby Tefetti, who uh, also uh, are seeking to get into this particular industry from a certain time and has spoken so many times on matters like this, which is Forex or foreign exchange, um, you know, Bitcoin, the cryptocurrencies, you know, ones and ones, you know, of course, uh, have words buzzing and uh, other you know, uh, articles and uh, newspaper uh, write-ups, uh, anything on the news that ones might have heard out here in the world, you know, it's, it's really buzzing at this point, cryptocurrencies and, you know, alternative um, mediums of exchange and certain ones utilizing that to their benefit. And even so, you know, big governments, big banks and, you know, countries and uh geopolitics taking notice of that you know because it's really you know buzzed and uh, blown up so much as a topic and um an effort i would say that ones uh really can't ignore it anymore it was very minuscule probably just even five to ten years ago but now in this particular time which we're living in this digital age this information age you know uh, information goes at such a rapid pace that one's you know, can uh, snowball a certain topic into something very huge, you know, sometimes in a matter of minutes, sometimes in a matter of days, weeks, months, or a few short span of years. But uh, as always, I have to big up my brother Tobia because I would love to collaborate with him a little more, even though I know he has so much still going on with certain other ones whom he sought to work with. But even so, uh, keeping that on the forefront, and um, we'll present this um, presentation, which we had the chance to actually go through, to actually learn from, to actually gain a certain amount of information from. But this will be just a little snippet, you know, for ones to listen to for themselves, just a snippet of what we were hearing in this particular uh, gathering, this particular um, summit, as it was called. In that sense, and uh, one's, of course, uh, learning to trade, one's learning the industry, one's learning the financial markets and using them to the benefit of themselves and their families and their loved ones and other ones who they, of course, hold dear. But this is just um, one. This is just one opportunity for ones. You know, I know that we mentioned, you know, getting into certain things like the stock market and um you know, the currencies market is slightly different, but in a lot of ways it's uh, the same, especially when it comes to trading and, um, of course, reading charts and other things of that nature. It really, you know, is a skill to be learned. And in one sense, when you actually learn a set of skills in one particular market, you can always take it to another market and apply it in the same way. But that's only if one's you know, have been exposed to certain things like this, then they will be able to elaborate on them a little bit more effectively. You know, I really hadn't sought to speak on many matters as this because I never wanted to feel like I was talking down to certain people and I never wanted to give off that vibe. But, you know, at, at this time when we have uh, so many ones who've been with us from, like I mentioned, uh, a long period of time and again giving of themselves freely you know and receiving no recognition receiving no compensation you know for their works and never asking for certain things as such but you know again just giving of themselves giving of themselves freely and uh consistently 
you know, we, of course, had always took notice of that. And uh, just seeing the endurance of certain ones and seeing the lack thereof of certain other ones, we, again, uh, took notice of that and took stock and, you know, made an accountant for it. And this is just um, one of the initial points, which we'll hope to bring out, you know, in a very short, short amount of time, you know, to get ones plugged into something as this. And, of course, uh, as an LOJ RTG uh, DSR family, we hope to expound upon this in such a way that it is beneficial to ones, of course, of our own fellowship. And that's why we're even making this presentation here now for ones to hear. But uh, even so, many of the rest of these presentations will be private, as we mentioned before so many times in our other videos. You know, this won't be, you know, a public forum for many ones to, you know, have those prying eyes into everything that we're doing, but this is just, you know, something to, of course, respark up the channel here. As we mentioned before, we had, you know, gone uh, for uh, such a time to, uh, again, you know, re-educate ourselves on certain things that we knew and learn certain things that we didn't know uh, before. And, of course, share that with ones who, you know, have locked arms with us and really, you know, stood firm with us you know, over a uh, concerted, uh, an extended amount of time. But uh, even so, you know, we, um, you know, won't hold the eye much longer. We still have many of our language lessons still to bring out. And also, you know, the, um, the recording works, of course, to be put forward for that. You know, we'll have um, a lot more of those up for purchase, you know, in a very short amount of time. Also, you know, we have our own literary works. We have our consultation works with other ones who are seeking to publish as well. But uh, as I mentioned, um, more of the information will be here in the description box. So be sure to check that, especially our LOJRTG family. Be sure to link with me and also be sure to put in your profile link to your Rastafari Groundation or your Rastafari Groundation, RastafariGroundation.com or your RastafariGroundation.org profile so that you can get plugged into these particular opportunities once we have them rolled out. So, you know, it won't be, you know, up forever. We won't have that link up for a long uh, amount of time. There will be limited space in the initial so ones, uh, be sure to get in and get in fast so that we, you know, can uh, move this along pretty quickly. But uh, as always, uh, so much more still to come, uh, so much more to share. But um, we bid the eye uh, adieu for, you know, this moment. And, of course, may Jah keep watch between I and B while we are away from another. And we'll come to the eye, of course, in the next one. Shalom. Ina. Salamta.